Yo yo, it's Rangulius here, and you are watching Renge Feels Like Playing Withering Rooms. If you like what you see, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. That would be really appreciated. Without further ado, let's get it on. So last time we left off, we just started Chapter 2. Um, don't really know what to expect from here, um, but uh, well, we'll figure it out. So we waked up in an observatory. Still carrying our same items that we were carrying, so we didn't lose anything upon uh, burning up there. What's this? Two Nightingale. Nightingale. I am terribly sorry for the thoughtful, the frightful events you bear witness to. Peter was a sick man, determined to destroy the dream, even if it meant forever extinguishing its inhabitants. I understand that you must be ashamed and confused. Alarmed and confused. It would not surprise me if you think me a monster. I must assume you these... I am struggling. I must assure you these are... Wanderous? Falsehoods? Slanderous? Is that slanderous? Yeah. Wow. I'm struggling with the cursive here. Uh, this, okay, let me start that over. I understand that you must be alarmed and confused. It would not surprise me if you think me a monster. I must assure you these are slanderous falsehoods that no harm shall come to you in the dream. I am afraid I have pressing business to attend to. Please remain safely in the observatory until I return. I will explain everything. Your friend, Dr. Robert Blackett. That was a struggle and a half, but we got there. I'm sure I'll, I'll, I'll learn how to read eventually here. Maybe. Make some potions and stuff. If there's anything to craft. Let's make shield, shield, and I guess a couple dummies. Grab anything. Night Mother remembers her bricks and her blood is more mortal. Organ grease. Not have one of those. Let's take a gaze. Hmm. I'm assuming this is going to have to come into play eventually. Last night counts. Last night's counts. What does that mean? Huh. Yeah, I assumed. I assumed so. Observations. Far fewer visible stars than real Earth. Unclear if this is an acuity issue in the idol's eyes or a flawless early imprint that's stuck. Subsequent exposure in the real world does not improve the situation. Observations. So you got three, two, and or one, two, and three. The 
Pills. Far fewer visible stars than the real world. Unclear if this is an acuity issue in the idol's eyes or flawed early imprint that stuck. Subsequent exposure in the real world does not improve the situation. One, two, and three. What is that? Is that. Okay, let's cut this. Does the count start? Does that number even go that high? Nine. What do we got here? One. Four, one, six. Not bad, not bad, not bad. A large snuff box filled with the accursed residue, previously owned by Dr. Robert Blackett. When open, the holder is rapidly cursed. I simply open it up, wait until the walls begin to bleed, and enter the mirror. Three curse damage per second to wear. Okay, I need to read that again. A large snuff box filled with a cursed residue, previously owned by Dr. Robert Black. When open, the holder rapidly cursed. Simply open it up, wait until the walls begin to bleed. Oh, it's permanent. Okay, so this is like an actual fucking thing. A uh, mirror with a handle attached that can be used as a shield. Can block all incoming curse damage, but will eventually break. Poison increases effectiveness. 360 durability. Blocks physical. Blocks fire. Blocks 100% curse. Blocks 50% other damage. Interesting. Boston House map. Basement, kitchen, hallway, banquet hall, upper hallway. So there's like even a higher upper hallway. And then you have the attic. Okay. And then it has like a question mark there. Weird. Find out why there's a question mark. I figured. Okay. Let's read that quest. Find out why there's a question mark below the entrance hall. On the most amount house map. Let's peek. Oh, we still don't have a key. Shit. Then what did I do? Oh, curse. That's what I did. So I can use the mirror to get out of here. Okay. Let's do it. Take a look. What is this again? Tiny metal light visible to wear. Inner light. So it's like a sneaking light thing, I'm assuming. Do I even have the lantern anymore? Did I or did I lose it? When I died. I don't remember if that was permanent. No, I would have to go buy one again. Damn. I wonder how expensive it is. Oh, no, never mind. It's right there. So, I'm gonna let this box do its thing. Yeah. Enter the portal to nowhere for sure. Alright, new player. Well, I guess I can talk to the Yeah, 
in reality, I'm not. <laughs> I don't really want to get rid of any of that. I'm never really gonna use the the pottery stuff, but do I have any gold? Yeah, 37. So I'll buy a four. Maybe got to go five of those and sell one. Buy a warden candles. Three of those. A little bit of gold left over. Yeah, who's this? Emma Benyon. Oh. Can we just kill her? Well, isn't this awkward? I know you're probably not too pleased to see me. But unlikely as it may sound, we're on the same side. You see, me and the butcher surgeon had an un uneasy alliance. He was... He would guard the eye, I would guard the idol. Peter Mostern wanted to destroy the dream. Robert Blackert wants to turn the dream into his plaything. Not a fan of either outcome, so I worked with the butcher to keep the idol out of their hands. I was convinced you were one of Robert Black or Robert's lackeys. Can you blame me? You did everything they asked, whether you knew it or not. But now that you've been locked up in the observatory, I can see you're not aligned with them. At least, not yet. As a gesture of good faith, there, here's the key to your prison. Now that Robert has not has full control of the idol again, we're in tremendous danger. We need to find out what he's planning. We're not... There are two places that might have the answer. Robert's room and the entrance hall. Let me explain. I have been to the wrong... Have you been to the wrong room? You just open it and close the door three times and go in. It's a spell, my friend, Millie came up with. The spell creates a false version of the room in the mansion. We used a pull... We used to pull great pranks in, of the inner inmates by luring them into it. The last prank we pulled was pointing the wrong room at the entrance hall during the initiate in the an initiation series. But not long after, I saw Millie in the hallway, but she was a ghost. The wrong room, as you can see for yourself, has become a cursed place. That means that the entrance hall must be a cursed place too. What happened? Millie and 12 other people are now ghosts, and I know Robert has, knows, has something to do with it. The first witch has something to do with it as well. I overheard them talking about creating a blind spell for something in the entrance hall, or a binding spell for something in the entrance hall. Doubtless she kept something so valuable on her person, so you have to defeat her to get your hands on it. Let me explain Robert's room. Robert's room is along the upper corridor. You should search his room thoroughly. I know he's hiding something. But carefully though, there's lots of inmates about. They, like the first witch, have hardened their bodies against the effects of the first. Keep your eye out for the initiate grimoire. There's loads of spells in there that can direct physical harm instead of curse damage. I'll bet the first witch has one hidden in her bedroom. Okay, and I can buy some stuff from her. Spell stuff. What's this? Safe room twig tool. A fragile set of twigs twisted into a sigil of marvels. Snap it to turn the current room into a safe room for 30 seconds. Only works in smaller rooms and has no effect on monsters already inside. Sometimes I need a little bit of time to myself, no undead shambling and the inter un interrupting my thoughts. 15 curse damage. Okay. Metal shield. Fairly decent. This crescent. Dull silver ring. 
crafting a cult blank black book which can be stamped with an incisional to create spells. Okay. Well two well we might as well get a couple of these, make some tonics. Um probably the cheapest option. some spells or uh grab some stuff first here anything else okay let's get on out of here Priscilla's Dream History is one. Priscilla's Dream is History. Oh, great. Can't even read the first part of it. Uh, I'm gonna try this. Yeah, I can't read that first part. Uh, Labyrinth Beneath Monstern House. We can conclude that the idol was either created or discovered in prehistory. Shaman of some nameless ancient tribe would gaze into the idol's eye each new moon and be taken into the dream. What he saw there was probably a quite crude rendering of reality, as the idol had witnessed little at that point. As was tradition for ancient man, blood sacrifices of animals or rarely humans would be given to the idol. It's likely these ori original violent gifts were one why blood holds such incredible power in the dream. Cheer, chocolate cake, anything else? Yeah. This is stairs. Who the fuck are you? Stairwell spell removes the illusionary wooden plank blocking access between the upper floors and the ground floor. Can be used on both the upper west stairwell and upper east stairwell. Battle was never shown the upper floors. What a pity. I'd love to explore them. And an axe. Okay. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Simply, simple wood splitting axe, bit unwieldy, but leave a recent. Will leave the recipient of its blows bleed. I think this is uh, better than our pipe, and it probably has more reach. Let's uh, let's take a look at that. Oh, doesn't do as much damage though, and uh, not nearly as much poison packed. Or at least not for its okay. Yeah, I might want to stick with the pipe, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the pipe. I like the uh, the poise damage there. And a sickle, a rusty harvest sickle coated with poisonous cork blood. Obviously, it poisons over time. Remove the illusion there. And we can take a look. Upper banquet hall. Go in there. Oh, okay. Well, typically, this indicates boss fight. Let's, uh, let's see what happens here. Okay. 
The first witch. Oh, Nightingale, whatever are you doing out of the observatory? I know it must be boring. I promised as soon as Dr. Black bleeds his business, he will be explaining any everything. You've done phenomenally well here in the dream. It would be such a shame for things to start going poorly now, wouldn't it? So please turn around and head back up to the observatory like a good girl. Tells me I probably either if I keep going forward I probably get attacked, and if I attack her, she's probably super strong. Eh, let's see what happens. I already saved. That's uh, since you seem to be unable to follow a simple command, I'll return you to the observatory myself. Oh, shit. Oh, she has a lot of health. Okay. What do I got? What do I got that can help me here? Let's, uh, dummy spell. Let's go dummy spell. Ooh. Uh, I don't know if that actually helped me at all. But we're just gonna pretend it did. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. Well, that sucked. Whoa. Okay. Okay, well, I'm already dead. I don't feel like that's impossible. I do not feel like that's impossible. I don't think I'm gonna pursue it right now, but like that seemed fairly possible if I had some patience. But uh, let's go and just chill for now and see what's up with the rest of the house. Let's maybe take a look. A new friend. Okay. Well. That was quick. Yep. Okay. I see her. But can't do anything about it. Yep. You're a bricky one, aren't you? Ow. Probably should have rolled and forward. Come on. Oh yeah. Fancy yourself a knight. I got her. You did. Oh, I don't. No. What? Come on. Let me. What's going on? What the heck? Is she like blocking the door? What the hell? Why can't I go up? What is going on? I swear to fuck, man. Like, that's probably the deal. Like, okay. Okay. I don't know why that wasn't. Initiate. Human finger. Can't help it if they lose their way. Exploring the curse is not for the weak. And then. Like, do I attack this guy? Like, I mean, he doesn't attack me. Why would I attack someone who doesn't attack me? What is the offer? Human fingers? Let's do that. And then we will save the shield. Wait a minute. What? I got two slots? Hell yeah. Okay, we're gonna save the shield. And we will save the Bible. I think that was smart. What am I wearing right now? So, I got 
33% less curse, 25 curse tolerance. And damage to melee attacks from behind, and 20% more melee. Like, that just makes the most sense to me. Yeah, that just makes the most sense. Okay. Um. Okay, well, at least we killed an initiate, and that wasn't the end of the world. That wasn't too bad. Let's make sure that we keep on top of paying attention to where we are. Block. Okay. We can go downstairs, or we can see this banquet hall. Sounds like a big guy. Yep. Pretty big guy. They took me out in like two hits last time. Um. I could sneak by him. Am I supposed to fight the first witch? Probably like it's an option. Let's see if I have any food. Yeah. Oh, I guess that was a lot of health. That was kind of a waste. Speak again. Let's enter. Let's see what's up. It's going. Here I'm. It's a hide. I don't necessarily know how much health these guys have. Like I, I don't think I've actually eaten him, one of these guys yet. I know I take a lot of damage when they hit me. That's for sure. I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Oh, that was a ghost. Let's uh, take a picture. Oh, for the love of hell. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. What a stupid... At least I'm not dead. Is it gonna follow? I wonder if a mirror. Ah, oh, okay. Just take a peek. And just go and take a picture. Because I don't like these guys. Go. Take a picture. that do anything? Yeah. Ghost position. Offering spectral remains. Can we find a way to resurrect the phantom in a white coat? We're understaffed. La -di -da. Okay. Probably gonna get spotted here. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he does. Okay, okay. Um, whoa, what's that? What the heck? Ah, oh, there's no way, dude. What? Yeah, let's just get out of here. I'm, I'm not, I'm not fighting this guy. He's just gonna stay in that our hallway. Okay, let's pick a peek. Strange bedroom. Oh, 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 camera, camera. Oh, 
my god. Jeez. I like just <laughs> uh, I literally like clicked the screen right as that thing opened. Holy crap. Okay, so Do I just take a picture first? Yep, I'm dead. Oh man, I'm probably dead here. I need to... Did I get him? Okay. Let's go to real. This. Actually, probably... Oh my goodness. I need out of here. I need out of here. I need out of here. Whew. Okay, that's... Yo. This. Wait, what? Damn it. This is a problem. We have a problem. What? No way. There's no way. Am I dead? No. Okay. Okay. That's close though. I was sure sure close. Corrupted finger two, even more death, convenient the conniving impulse to survive. Conniving. Jesus. Okay, so I should have ghost kept somewhere, right? No, I'm not gonna go in there. Yeah. Okay. And then the grandfather clocks, what did they do again? They attract all the enemies. And then do something? I don't even want to test that, man. Okay, what do I got here? I got full health. Let's do a spell. Get myself a shield. Throw out a candle. Oh, never mind. What's this? Wine cellar. A stick on this floor. Um, I'm gonna throw out a candle some of this down. Man. Okay. Well, I guess I got pretty much all of it now. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oops. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Okay, what do we got in here? Guy. Gold, a finger, tea. Okay. I'm assuming that armor is coming to life. No? Okay. 
so many years. Guy with the gun. What to do? What to do? Where am I? What is this place? Peter? I'm dead. Oh, Lord Mustin, I failed you. Groundskeeper Daffod. Daffod got a set of traps again, and now the hedge maze is positively crawling with vermin. Okay. Healing, not bad. More healing, not bad. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, so much thin. Okay. Well, we're killing this trick. Who is this now? Got him. We did. So we're getting a lot of fingers and stuff, so like if we find the uh level up, hopefully we can level up a little bit here. Let's head in. Quilt library. Initiates, blank initiates book, blank book, can be stamped with sigil, summoning, summon spears book, spell, summon a field of pointed spears from the ground, call upon Vepar to sap the vitality of my enemies, each spear does damage, not bad, upper initiate, human finger, times two, for the most, it will be years in the dream before they're invited upstairs, okay, Human finger, doll. Okay, so level up would be nice around that this time. I got a lot of stuff I can level up with. I feel like there's another one. Yep. Okay, so let's go maybe dummy spell, even though. Oh. And then go back to the pipe. Have her maybe attack. Are you gonna come forward? No? Ow. Fancy yourself a knight. Damn it. Come on. I almost got her. Aw, oh, man. Bleeding. Damn it. Okay, let's go heal. Ah, uh, curse rod. Of course. So we're gonna go candle. Come on. Got her. Come on, just die. Got her. Profession, uh, possession book. The initiate book will become possessed and follow the caster from room to room, firing bolts of cursed energy at foes. Damage done by the bolts scales with spell damage. Feeds off the caster's cursed energy 
when the caster is no longer cursed, the book disappears. If the caster develops curse rot, the book disappears. Call me, call upon Agras to maketh run those that stand still. Interesting. Okay, let's take away some of my shit here. Let's maybe heal a little bit. Okay. Oh, okay. So, permanent medium out. A beautiful black dress, moderately cold to the touch, slightly ominous. 10% spell damage, 25 inner light, 100% perception, receives 25% less bleed blow though. Onyx pentagram amulet. An amulet in the shape of a pentagram made from dark rock. Plus 25 curse tolerance, 25 spell damage, converts 25 curse damage to physical damage from spell attacks. What the hell does all that mean? Okay, so I'm gonna put this on. Converts 25% of curse damage to physical damage for attacks. And then we have... Definitely, I'm up for an upgrade. So we will up our upgrade. Anything else? in here. Take a look. Don't hear anything. Go. <laughs> it's random. Marble gallery. Here is someone. Necessarily want to fight one of these guys. I'm just gonna run. Or walk. The chest. And sell some stuff. Yeah. Go to nowhere. Sell some pictures. Pottery. I never use it. Never even think to use it. Um, I'm not gonna use the axe. Hopefully, I don't need it for any or something different. The sickle. Probably never gonna use the sickle. I'm honestly stuck with the pipe for now. And then we will go. Sell that. I'm 
I'm sure I'm wasting my money and wasting items, but yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, let's. Okay, so where do we want to even... I'm, I'm just, like, randomly exploring. What are we even trying to do here? So what are we doing here? So we're trying to find that question mark. Defeat the first witch in the upper banquet. Obtained a binding spell. Emma, explore Robert Blackett's room to find a key to entrance hall. Find the initiate scrimmer for the first witch's bed in the first witch's bedroom. So, quite a bit. Quite a bit of stuff. So, maybe let's go to Robert Blackett's room and find the key. Oh. Where would that be? I do not remember where his room is. Is that up top? Big guys, let's just roll past them. Okay, so can we go? Into, I kind of, I probably am wasting time. Okay, so we're in the basement. Probably doesn't do anything right now. Let's go up there. Yeah. And that would require us to fight her. I feel like, unless we go all the way to the other side there and go up the stairs that way. Maybe that's a way we can get into this second level here. Or we just, you know, fight. I like how it kind of gives you the option to like suck and get through it without dying because I'm not the greatest. And you can kind of just like smash through it okay so let's shield up um and then we will honestly shield up again and then we will go and use the handle Let's try and take on this witch. I feel like it's possible. No, it must be boring. As soon as I promise, Black will be back. Plane. We've been doing great. I'm just gonna attack. Nope. Okay, that didn't work. So she's gonna have to return me to the observatory herself. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Got him. Run. Oh, what? How'd you get me? Okay, well, I'm getting just destroyed, so let's just put down a candle. Attack her again. Got her. Oh, come on. Can I just hold the shield up? Almost got it. Come on. Okay. She's 
not doing like much damage. It's more or less curse. Okay, and I just stand right in front of her. Man, that one spell just does a shit ton of damage. Bunch of curse as well. Let's uh, go with a uh, boarding candle. Put it down, see if I can. Damn it. Oh, that was a not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And then Damn it. Okay. Got her. Got her. Got her. Got her. Come on. Stay down. How does that get me? Maybe it's just a no matter what it hits kind of type deal? Like, that's really annoying. Uh, let's go with the T. I almost got her. I'm almost got her. Damn it. She's almost got me too. Come on. I almost got her. So it gets me no matter what. Uh, let's go with this going. Come on. You're dead. You're dead. I will heal myself with one of these. Damn it! Drop a candle. And then, damn it, heal? <laughs> Holy crap, man. Okay, let's just chill. Yeah, I'm good. Let's go attacker. Oh man, that one attack, man. She's dead. She's dead. She's dead. I got her. She's dead. She's dead. Get out of my way. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to drop another candle. Man. This is not an easy fight. Okay. I got her. She's dead. She's dead. I'm dead. She's dead. Oh yeah, got her. Got her. Man. Entrance hall binding spell. Removes the protective barrier around the fireplace in the entrance hall. After you've subdued it with the spell, give Robert the entrance hall key so he can stash it away. Spider's fashion record, permanent fashion record. Set the notes that the record of concurrent list of equipped rings, amulets, and outfits for quick recall. Just one's attire to suit the situation has never been easier. The record is currently empty. Organ grease, permanent offering. Vital organ grease pro pro processed from a mixture of blood and organ. Absolutely radiating with power in the dream and will persist night after night. Blood is her mortar, no organ grease shall be her mortar. First witch. Offering human finger five. Finally, this outcast has found his match. Find your way into the entrance hall and use the binding spell. Okay, well, damn. I had to use a lot of stuff just to kill that chick. Damn, that was a hard fight. Princess Candlestick. Sulfuric Acid. Safe Zone is in here. You can hear what's in here. Market Blackett's room. 
Probably enemies and stuff in there. Safe from twig. Oh, I thought I was in a safe zone. What the hell? Maybe I'm wrong. This is a safe zone. Gotcha. This is the safe zone. Let's think about... Hmm. Where am I trying to go? Sorry. Entrance hall binding spell. Find a way to the entrance hall and use the binding spell. Key. And then explore Robert Blackett's room by finding a key to the entrance. Which I have now. First which is bed three. It's probably back where I came from. Okay. Let's try this. Maybe sneak a little bit here. Straight up attack. Unprovoked. That's a one. <laughs> I got her. She's good. You did. Damn it. I got her. Oh. Didn't see me. That's good. What do I need here? Night Mother, Own Ash. Let's see if I have healing. Do that. And then we will do this. Kinda makes me nervous. Philosopher Simonium. Somin Somnium. The idol constructs a new iteration of the dreams each new moon. Around every 29 days, this is most likely a continuum continuation of some ancient lunar ritual undertaken by its own visit first owners. This iteration is further subdivided into periods of unknown length, which we will refer to as days, even though it is always night in the dream. After each period, the dream adapts, it attempts to reset to the same state as when the iteration began. It has proven impossible to observe this setting process, this resetting process, as the observer suddenly wakes up in bed with only a vague recollection of what had happened previous day. New people, places, objects be, be held by the idol's eye in the real world during the current iteration are incorporated into the next iteration. We already kind of knew that. Permanent Flight Codex describes a method of running faster by harnessing a trace amounts of cursed energy that penetrate the environment. A cursed toll is exacted during the run. Okay. I do not necessarily want to fight this guy, but I kind of want to see what's on the other side of the room. I think we're going to have to fight this guy. Wait a minute, where'd he go? <laughs> current fashion record. Set of notes that record a current list of equip rings, amulets, quick. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, come on. You didn't see me. So there's a bunch of rooms there. Of course there is. It only makes sense. Hmm. I'm gonna have to fight this guy. Oh my god! Ma, dude has a gun! What the heck? What the heck? Dude, better not be like, oh, he is like a beast. Come on, I got you. I got him, I got him. Stun him, come on. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. Wow. Wow, that was super close. And that was a ridiculously stupid thing. What a brutal thing. I wonder if I put on a mask, if I put on that hood, if they, uh, if they follow me or not, if they see me. Let's... Throw this on, and uh, just uh, let's just see. Let's just see. <laughs> Organ processing. Let's uh, let's take a look there. What? You shouldn't be able to see me. I got a hood on. Okay. Why wasn't I able to enter there? I was able to peek but not enter? Yeah, let's go. Okay, organ processing. Yeah, I'll pull the cover. Why w I don't understand why like that's even like a thing you have to think about. Okay, so there's another puzzle. Read, organ processing note. Samantha, in honor of Priscilla, Mostyn's mechanical genius, please set the com combination of the organ storage safe to the last three digits of her birth year. Her organ operations would not be possible without her research. Though she has been missing from the dream for many years, we must not forget her contribution. Your initiates will think of her each time they open that safe. Your friend, Robert. Last of her... Sorry, did that say birth year? Yeah, birth year. So, what was that? I feel like that was 1884. Could be wrong. 884? Oops. Yep. Okay. Oh, I probably have some sort of notes here. Oxford. Disgruntled mine workers. No choice but the full country house. Let's see if there's any mention of kids. Alfred was invited among the diplomatic empire. Seeing an opportunity to ingratiate his children. So it was before that. Remember 1872, just comes from mine workers, primary, Alfred's staying, 18th century, born, night. On opening, it's early visitors. Come on, mention the children. Hmm. Reopened, color clinic. 
Okay, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. Um, I know somewhere along the line it definitely mentioned their ages. Right there. 1846. Boom. Advanced lab manual. Advanced Laboratory Manual, originally authored by Priscilla Mostyn and discovered in the attic by the un uninitiate. Contains rece recipes for incendiary jar, curse jar, and elixir jar. Erasure ritual, permanent tool. Instructs for instructions for permanently erasing a troublesome foe from the dream. Must be used with care as the valuable organs and other resources that the foe carries cannot be obtained for sub sub on sub subsequent nights. The ritual has the following requirements. A room free of enemies, two vials of organ grease, one warding can. Some foes are too strong for the ritual to work. Ancient blood, permanent offering. Times the room. A gold cup filled with thick, vicious, viscous red fluid. Drunk by the ancient undead inhabitants of the dream to imbue them with strength. Toxic to the living, but through careful processing, its power can be harnessed safely. Okay. Uh, that was a lot there. Oh, 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 uh, I'm in a safe zone, right? Finally, some relief. This shift has gone on for ages. I know the first witch is busy with this ridiculous... But this is ridiculous. I have been here three nights. Since they're your first night, let me give you some tips. When one brings in some organs, help them use the furnace to create organ grease. Next, have them step into the chamber. They just need to pour the proper amount of organ grease in and deposit some coins. The chamber is truly mechanical wonder. It takes care of everything after that. Once they've strengthened their body in the chamber, ask them to go collect one more organs. You can give them this offering list chamber if they need anything need any help. Something should be someone should be by to relieve you eventually, I'm sure. Don't leave or the first witch will be very cross. Well, I killed the first one, just so you know. Okay, well, I can craft organ grease. At the same time, I don't really want to just yet, because what if I won't, like, do I, I need to level up somehow, unless organ grease is how I level up, but... Uh, I'm just gonna move on here. Maybe sell some things, buy some things. I am in desperate need of some healing items. Which I have material, I probably can craft a bunch. Yeah, I have ten and have ten of those. I have nine of these. So I definitely can heal myself. Let's make more wax. Let's maybe get some paper. I have nine, I have ten of those, I have eight of those, so I just need a crafting table is what it seems like. Okay, is there anything I can sell? No. Um. Alrighty. Let's go back here. Maybe I actually... If I want to go somewhere else, like the observatory, craft some stuff. Let's go with tonics. Ten of those. First jar, electric jar. 
tonic enhanced with the additional viscous ancient blood from the Byzantine labyrinth far below Moscow. Where did Robert stash the door hand? Nobody has seen it down in two weeks to check on the uh, uh, to check on the expedition. 100 health, 10 poise for 30 seconds. Plus 15% physical damage reduction for 30 seconds. Heals poison stats. 50% 15% physical damage reduction. Damage reduction. Damn, this is good. I'm gonna craft this. Probably shouldn't save the jars. Let's go make some spells. I definitely want them to make a bunch of shields. And then. Uh, this pop one in there. Activate five remembrance shrines. Nice. Uh, what do I want to? Oh, I got two of them. Um, what do I want to remember now? Well, seems like I want to remember this. And then is there a ring? So yeah, let's remember that ring. That, oh, that's it. Okay. Wait. Is the other door locked still? Nope. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I think that's what we're gonna call it today. Um, thank you for watching. Wrench feels like playing Withering Rooms. We'll see you next time.